Hello, hello, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This time a little bit different, instead of a time lapse, it's gonna be a normal video. Just because YouTube keeps demonetizing my videos. Gotta love the copyright claims on music. So I hope this works. Let me know in the comment section if you prefer the time lapse or a normal video and well, I will adjust according to that. Although this is easier for me because there is less work for me to do now in editing and stuff like that. But hey. And I would like to give a shout out to Feet Guy Gaming. Because he helped me out a bit. And I'm very thankful for that. So check out his channel. He's mainly playing Farming Simulator. Uh, also time-lapse series and his link will be found in the description so please if you have the time check him out too and for me let's see what we got here there is not much to buy and I don't have that much money and I prefer to stay away from missions and go full scrapyard but as you see that might be a problem but oh well, let's see. 22. That doesn't leave me with a whole lot of money. And there's nothing else here either. I don't know, might have to do a few missions just to save up more money. And on the time lapses, I said that I would do and repair of minimal 20%, then 25, then 30 until we reach the 100 point but I think I'm gonna stay with 100 it only means that I will have to do missions now and then just to keep some money flowing but hey, let's see where this leads to oh wow, that's bright that's brighter than I thought. And Luxor Bowen. Is that a real name? Yeah, I'm not a professional on, on, on cars and stuff like that. So, this is just a fun game. Me messing around, not knowing what I'm doing. Like in every game, but oh well. It's about the fun, right? Right? Oh, and normally the time lapse would be around 15 minutes. Um, I have no idea how long this video will be, but I might end up splitting it in separate parts just to keep the videos a bit shorter so it won't be tedious to watch. Because personally, I won't really click on a video that's one and a half hours long. Of course. Everyone has his own opinion on that, but for me, might be a little bit longer than half an hour, might be a little bit shorter, we'll see. And let me know if you want to see the complete build, or if it is a good thing to split it up. Actually, come to think about it can do one video of taking everything apart and one video of assembling it all. If I won't lose what I'm doing at least. Because normally when you play this game and you stop for a while and you come back you're like what what was I doing? What are the parts I have? Help. Yeah, and I'm definitely not going to make it to get this to 100%. Now. 
actually haven't even looked at the parts that are missing and stuff like that. I just started to wing it. Oh well. There are always a few parts you know that are broken and need replacement. Like the inner tie rod, outer tie rod, flywheel. Um, there was no oil in this car, so there is no oil pan, I think. Which happens a lot too. Oh. No. That's kind of what this game is. Do missions. Repair cars. Get barn finds. Which are usually old cars that are in roughly okay shape. I need some patching up, but nothing too bad. And later when you reach level 13, if not mistaken, you've got a junkyard. Well, those cars are junk. But it's fun to play with. I mean, you're dissembling anything anyway, so... You want to take everything apart. See what you can fix. If you got a repair punch, you can fix parts. And you might notice me struggling with English often, very often, because it's not my main language. So sorry for that. And I can see what I'm doing now. And let's start taking it all apart. Oh, brakes. Brakes are always gunners too. 70%. That's a good thing that most cars are mirror, mirror images of themselves. So you only have to take a look at one side to see what parts you need. Buy them twice. You need them on both sides. Oh. Would be funny though. Drive around with half a car. Would be a balancing issue, but. Actually, surprised that the exhaust are still in place. Normally, exhaust pipes are stuff that's missing too. Ah, fair enough. This car was expensive to buy. I mean, 2200 I hope it gets some profit. Well, it does, though. Even if you complete a car at 30%, you still make a profit. Depending on how much stuff you have to buy, of course. But most of the time, that's kind of what you aim for. If you're low on cash. But I will dump this car in the garage if possible and take out a mission. Just to have some more cash. Which probably means that I will have to stop around the 3000 mark, something like that. And you can always get a loan. This game does allow you to loan some money from the bank, but I do not want that. So either I can do it with the stuff I have, or I can't. This is also where I have to be careful of, because if I spend too much money, I won't have the money left to do any missions. And that would kindly, kinda mess up my gameplay. But yeah, you saw that in a time lapse already, probably. So nothing new there. And if it is your first time watching, then welcome. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you think of this. And if you prefer the time lapse, or if you prefer a video series like this. And then I will adjust according to that. And where is that clip?
Oh, there you are. You are very rusty, sir. You are very rusty. Oof. Engines. Engines are really expensive stuff. Expensive stuff. Thanks. Oh boy. This is going to be a lot of unbolting. Oh, and um, when you complete missions and stuff like that, or go to the scrapyard or to barn finds. You've got special areas like closets or junk piles you can search through. It might have normal parts and it might have special parts too. Talking about that, I picked up a loot crate. And since I'm far away from the point of building my own car and drive it around the track, because you can drive your own cars if you want to, you can leave it in the garage, build up a showroom, tune them, um, put modified engines in it, a whole lot of shenanigans like that, but I'm not going to do that yet, because I kind of need the money, so I won't need the special items either. So if I do get a barn find car, I will use the special items for higher sell prices, because that's all we want really. Sell them, make profit, get more cars, get more expensive cars, build my way up to the top. And level up of course. And you get level, well, not really levels, experience for everything you dismantle. Like those rods, you see plus one in the right side of the screen. So you are... You've got a free hand in what you're doing and how you want to level up. Of course, missions give you more experience, so you level up faster. I mean, you kind of get double for completing the mission and taking the car apart and assembling it. So leveling up might be a little bit slower this way, but it's okay. I only need level 13 fast, really. That's just for the scrapyard. And in a time lapse as I leveled up to level 9, I just leveled up to level 10. Sweet. And the higher your level, the harder the missions are. But I want to be a restoration company. Oh, I do have... Um, A few mods installed, like the Volkswagen Beetle, um, Bugatti Veyron. Why am I not taking the hood off? Because I kind of need to redo this anyway. I do not have a paint boot yet, so I cannot change the exterior of the car yet. But that's fine. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Hey. No. No, you're allowed to do that. Okay, all the windows are out. Yes. Oh. Fenders.
Right. Wrong side. Oh, there is an oil pan. There's just no oil. Fair enough. And the higher the level you have, the more upgrades you can do. I will get there in a bit, by the way. As soon as I... <coughs> Excuse me. As soon as everything is dismantled. I'm going to see what kind of upgrades I can do now. See what I can repair of the items I scrapped from this car. Well, scrapped. Collected. It's not scrapped yet. Right, that's it. Pistons. Yeah. And I really need an engine stand. I thought there was an engine stand, but I haven't played this game in a long time. And I completely lost... Yeah, yeah, okay. It's Fair enough, there is an engine stand. Did not meant that. I meant the crane to lift the engine out of the car but if the engine stand is here then technically it should be around somewhere no I don't see it scream at me if you do see it hey no never mind that's just a stand for When you race the car, you got some heavy objects, and you can place the stand underneath it. Okay, I'm gonna shoot back up again. Again, wrong side. Take the crankshaft out. Repeat this one more time to take the engine out, and that's it. And then you are empty. Right, one completely stripped car. Okay, uh, upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Uh, I really want this. Another lifter. But what do I want now? Ah, uh, dismount things faster. Yeah, let's do that. At level 13 you get the spray cabin. And at level 40, you will save money by 50% with your trips going to the junkyard. Because, of course, you have to call in some form of transport to track the car out of there. Normally, that's, I believe, either 100 or 500 bucks. I'm not sure yet. Uh, with that upgrade, it will be a little bit less. Half less. This is the test track where you test the brakes, suspension, stuff like that, bearings. And I said I had a crate. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Where is the crate? There you are. No. What do I get? Special items. Crates! I think I and I broke my mouse. Oops. I think okay, fixed it. Never mind. 
I can break every game by the way. Just give me a game and I will be able to break it. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to it. <laughs> and now I'm just wasting my money repairing things. I'm gonna speed that a bit up first. I will get there eventually to see. Oh my god, there are a whole lot of items. My money is draining faster than I thought. Whoops. Okay, I don't really care what is good or not, so I'm gonna sell everything that's not 100%. Hey, I had a new barn. Oh well. That gave me 10,000 bucks. That's sweet. Okay, time to put this puppy back together. And let's see what kind of parts are missing. Of course, the crankshaft is always broken. The inner and outer tie rods, you cannot repair them. There are a few items you will learn over time that... And I have not looked at that. V8, OJV, VH. There are a few items that you can't repair, and the longer you play, the more you learn in which parts you kind of have to buy. Like, always have to buy. Pistons. Piston with Conrad. I don't have any. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Of course, it's a V8. What kind of pistons? Just normal. Piston with Conrad. Let's buy 8 of those. You go along with piston rings. I do not if I have those, but since they're cheap. Let's buy them. And let's put this puppy back together. And I like to start off. Like to start off with the engine and work my way back up, whatever. Like, should I get to the point where I have to race the car? And there's, yeah, okay, I could put the radiator back and stuff like that, but that will blind me. Special quality item, why not? Okay, I know I don't have that one. Engine head, V8. How much push? I do not have five push rods. One, two, is it one? It's two each, so it's sixteen. Does that seem right? Engine hat. And this is the most time consuming part. Find out which parts you don't have and buy them. Because they all look the same, they are definitely not the same. Was it the engine head or the engine header? I believe it was the engine head, but why don't I? Oh, I am blind, never mind. No, it was the OJV. You see, there you go. <laughs> and this is an expensive screw up. Valve push rods, 16 of those, that I do know. Well, spark plugs is one of those things that are usually not repairable. Just like the fuel filter. Rods, no, try. Um. Uh, 
Oh well, eventually you get to the point where you can use one of the items you accidentally bought, so it's, a sh it's, it's just a pain because I'm low on money, but other than that, it's okay. And you can sell it again, of course, but you get less money back from doing that. So why bother? I've got 7400 left, so money is going down fast. And my record kind of is one hour and 30 minutes of lucky. Engine head cover B. I do not uh, know if I have the A version. So I've got to do that one first. Fuel filter, you see? <laughs> had to buy it. This would not be the proper bolting pattern. Normally when you put an engine header back up or install the engine header you want to start from the middle and work your way out. It's just because of the tension that you create in a clockwise motion. You know what, let, let, let's try to do that a bit more realistic next time. Well, I, I got a game on easy mode, so I'm, I'm kind of allowed to mess a few things up. Although, no, I don't think it's, a, it's on easy mode. It's on normal mode. Expert or hard mode is the one where it doesn't show you where you can play stuff, stuff or what you have to dismantle first. Like if I want to dismantle the engine block now, it will say, hey, you cannot do that. You have to do the headers first. Oh wait, therefore you need to, uh, the five push rods and the rocker arm first. First, stuff like that. Well, engine head cover A and B. Engine head cover A and B. This time. Do buy the right thing. On the engine head cover, it doesn't really matter what a bowling pattern is, as far as I know. As far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong, because. That's also a reason to play this game. Learn a bit more. And I'm not a mechanic, so... I know how to get a star car started that doesn't start anymore. Like, it, it, it needs fuel... Spark, if you're having a petrol car. Air. And the right timing. And I know how to do most of that. Intake manifold, one carp. Intake manifold. I said manifold. Thank you. One carp. I'm sure the air folder and stuff like that is gone too, because that stuff you cannot repair. Yeah. Carburetor for barrel. Well, I'm not going to buy things separately if I don't have to. I do not want the radiator because the front has to be put in place first. Brake servo. Yee, I got nothing. Okay, carburetor, four barrel. Can I just do four barrel? Do you get that? If I write it wrong? Right? Yeah. Then the battery. And the brake servo. Uh, 
Huh? Ooh, shiny. Nope. Round air filter base, one carp. Can I do one carp and get everything? I'll brush the base. Well, the filter is definitely not repairable. Uh, let's take a hat too, gosh. Most cars I work on in this game require that one. Ah, and I didn't add it, so. Good guess. Okay, looks nice. Love it, love it. And again, the wrong side. Stop doing that. Okay, and as soon as I close this up, I'm gonna say goodbye. Gosh, it's almost time. I need. Oh, that's the crankshaft bearing gap. Okay, I need one. Wait, what? One, two, three, four. Five rod caps. One, two, three. Crankshaft bearing caps. Bearing cap. Rod cap. Nice. Oil pan. Oh! I actually got it back. This is one of the items that has a high ch chance of destroying when you try to repair it. Okay. Well, this is all engine based stuff. But, as I said, as soon as the oil pan is on, it's time to sign off. So, that's it for today. Well, once again, it's different than a time lapse. Let me know what you think about this kind of video in the comment section. If you prefer the time lapse or if you prefer just a normal let's play, just like this. And let's see what it brings us. Of course, most most votes count. Once again, special shout out and and a lot of thank yous to Feed Guy. His link will be in the description. Check him out too. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. And see ya.